Right, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. I used to do them in lockdown, um, pretty much just like anything that I've seen out and about that was sort of looked interesting, like the ostrich steaks from Aldi. I'd just buy and do a quick little video on it. Little fun video, nothing serious, cooking it my way. So today, well not today, I was out the other day uh, and I came across this, which is sparkling birthday cake in a can by a candy can. It was 150 from Farm Foods, um, zero sugar, which is always a winner. 500 mils, I, I don't think I'm gonna get through all of it. I think I've had one before and um, it was pretty, pretty awful, should we say. So today what I thought I'd do, um, well, when I, yeah, what exactly is birthday cake? Because growing up, so what exactly is birthday cake? Because me growing up, I used to get like Victoria sponge with like a candle in the middle and I'd get various little cakes and stuff like that. So to me, when I see that, I'm like, what exactly is birthday cake? So what I've done, it's not gonna be an exact sort of match. I've gone and bought an Aldi Madeira cake. Well, party cake, birthday cake, call it whatever you want. So I'm gonna take a little slice of this, a little cheeky slice, um, and I'm gonna let the palate all just infuse all the flavor wash it away, and then I'm gonna open this little bad boy. Um, and I'm pretty much gonna see how the two compare, or actually what, what does that taste like, to be honest with you. So yeah, as I say, I don't do many of these food videos anymore. It was mainly just a lockdown thing. Um, started off as a joke, and then I sort of like, as I say, when I go out and about, if I see something I like, um, I'll pick it up. I'll have a quick look on YouTube, see if there's any videos. There is videos of um, energy drink birthday cake, but I don't think there's any of this. So yeah, I, I, I'm not expecting it to do well because the food videos don't really do well, except for the ostrich steak, where all the Australians got offended by me eating it. Well, when I say me eating it, they got offended because it was, because um, Aldi had them on the shelves, basically. So yeah, I just woke up one day and was like, one, two thousand bits. I was like, mm. So yeah, it turns out someone sent me a link to an article in Australia. My video was linked to that. And yet they were all sorts of up in arms about like Aldi selling ostrich steak on the um, on the shelves. Right, so anyway, um, enough waffle. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut myself a slice of this uh, party birthday cake. And then um, we're gonna take a little drink of uh, candy can sparkling birthday cake. Right, so who'd have thought it? Start opening the birthday cake and I'm surrounded by cats. So, just before I delve into this, cheeky slice of birthday cake it's from holly lane aldi party madeira cake um it's it's got 11 grams of fat 2.5 grams of saturates 21.7 grams of sugar oof, and um 0.36 grams of salt obviously the sugar's 24 percent saturates 12 percent that's 17 percent and um i've got a cheeky cat here you can't see her but She's just poking her nose in the box. Ah, say hello to the world, little gnarly. Let me do this video and I'll play with you. So anyway, yeah, let's, let's crack on with this. By the way, it's not my birthday. If anyone knows me, my birthday is the 31st of May. And how do people know that? Because Facebook tell them, that's why. So what I'm getting here is, jam and cream I'm getting a cat next to me what about I know you like cake you like a cheeky piece of cake don't you right oh god stop licking the knife stop licking the knife And this is probably why I don't do many of them, because as soon as I crack the fridge open, I'm surrounded by these cat sharks. And I've just fed them as well. Anyway, so I've just tasted like Victoria sponge. Um, with the addition of some little sweetie things on top. And then, as I say, what is birthday cake? What was birthday cake taste? I don't think anyone knows the answer to that one. So because I'm on a diet, 
I don't think I like this all. Actually, yeah. I will. Anyone notice my arm as well? If you've watched that video where I take me petrol buggy down Crosby Beach, I had it ripping around the beach for an hour. Big fat exhaust at the back. Turns the car off. Picks it up by the handle at the back. Rested my arm on it. Took my skin clean off. So what's I say in the box? A delicious Madeira cake layered with frosting and sweet jam filling. Oh. Now, I should start that again. Now, I have seen birthday cake, obviously, in them sort of layered colours. I don't think I've ever had one like that. So, let's assume that, that is a proper birthday cake. Um, or well, rainbow cake, like you call it. That wasn't bad. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to wash my mouth out with soap and water. Not really. I'm going to wash my mouth out. Let it settle. I will crack open this uh, sparkling birthday cake in a can. Right, okay. A bit on the table there. Right, so, um, yeah. Without further introduction. Um, it's candycan.com. It's on Instagram as well. It's made in the Netherlands, apparently. Um, let me just have a quick run through of what's... Did it tell you what's inside it? Mm, it just says energy, all that crap. It's all written in. Oh yeah, sparkling, refreshing drink with strawberry vanilla uh, sweeteners. Ingredients: carbonated water, strawberry juice concentrate, flavoring sweeteners. So basically, what it's saying is it's just strawberry vanilla flavored drink. Right. So here we go. I sort of feel like the Rocky theme tune coming on. Like da, 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 I can't actually use the music because last time I used that, I got a copyright claim. So, da, 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 so it's, looks like, looks like wine. Doesn't smell like wine. Postman. Go get me the mail cats. Do you know what? I don't know what that tastes like. I, no, I'm not getting anything else other than cheap. Like a cheap drink. Don't eat it, drink it. Sounds a bit like Rocky on a show. Don't dream it, beer. Let's try this again. Belly cats. It's sugary, but that's because it's loaded with sweetness, probably, but there's a certain taste to it. That reminds me of something I just can't put me my birthday cake finger on it at the moment. Mm. 
No, I don't have that. I was going to say LucasAid, but... No, other than strawberry sweetener or strawberry flavouring. Other than strawberry flavouring, it doesn't taste anything like vanilla or cream or, you know, whatever. Do you want a bit? Every day. Every day I go and do something. Food-wise, dinner, tea, occasionally breakfast, because you like crumpets as well. Also, I forgot to mention, I actually forgot to put a post up. Um, cheers for the 2,000 subscribers. I think I'm 2,090 odd now, so yeah. Thank you for your continued support, uh, old and new subscribers. Plenty more videos to come. I mean, like, I've got no sort of um, thing going stopping. Just whatever I find sort of interesting. Because, you know, exploring doesn't really have to be about exploring abandoned buildings, stuff like that. It's places of interest in my eyes. You know, if it's, if it's a building, yeah, if it's not. If it's something I find interesting, I'll film it. I'll throw it online. If it does well, sound. If it doesn't, not a problem. I'll just roll on to the next one. So, yeah, I've got loads coming up. Um... Eric's uh, doing well at the moment on his, I think he's on his last stage of chemo, but well, it's coming up soon, so yeah, I'm quite surprised he's out and about, he's, uh, he's a little trooper-like, so yeah, uh, all good in the hood at the moment. A couple more swigs of this before I bugger off. No. Just not feeling it. How do these people do, like, wine tasting, is it? No, no. It just tastes like one of those cheap ass strawberry drinks you get from like a convenience store. I was expected to be hit by, you know, smack in the face with like, not strawberry, just like vanilla, sponge, cream and all that. But now I'm left with this Sort of like horrid looking sweetener mess. And as I say, I went into farm foods for I think it was ice creams, standing by their till, and that was just there like that. I actually bought, um, pardon me, I'm gone. Apologies. I actually bought two. One, <coughs> bloody hell. Shall I start that again? I bought two. Um, <coughs> one of them's bubblegum flavour, which I am assuming is going to be um, sort of close to the original thing. And this one certainly isn't. So, yeah, I think I'll have a few more quaffs. And um, do something I haven't done for a while. Which is cheers. Cats. Old and new. Cheers. Yeah, so like I say, um, I'm going to be back out and about hopefully next week. I'm just having a little bit of a rest and sort of assess what things I've got on my list. What to do and what not to do. Got a couple of iffy ones, controversial ones, fun ones, you know, good adventure ones, mad ones, and just just whatever comes out this this little tiny mind of mine. So yeah, like I've said, uh, thanks again for the continued support, and um, I'll wrap this up and I'll say cheers, and I'll catch you in the next video. And just before I go, if anyone's wondering, would I buy it again? Would I? Just before I do go, there's a little calf falling asleep.